kids. Um, we're going to go ahead and skip to the next class. This will be our glitter class. And um, I know you've seen some of these pictures in some of the craft stores, and they really cost a lot. But it looks like a, a maybe gold or silver glitter here and pink and another color. So that's what we're going to do today. So get out your ink, your canvas that you've got in your bag, and get out a couple of your alcohol ink colors. And you'll have some glitter also. Get that out. You may will need some glue and a, and a brush, okay? All right. So first of all, I'm going to make mine pink because I have got pink here and I have pink glitter. Uh, if you can coordinate yours, that's great. If not, it doesn't matter. Just kind of let it run in place. But you try to keep it on one third of the canvas up at the top. You understand? It doesn't matter if it runs a little over. You might want to blow it with your straw too if you have that handy. If it drips down on the side, that's great. You know, it'll be more interesting. That's what I like about these canvases around the edge. You don't have to buy a frame. And the more you do to the edges, the prettier it is. Okay? We're going to pretty much try to get a solid line of whatever color you're doing. Just kind of hold it and wiggle it around as it just work with it, in other words. Try not to let any run off because you want to use every little bit you can and it will get messy. So make sure you have your trusty paper out. Like I said, our goal is to try and make a solid line. All right, here we go. You gotta work with it while it's wet. Okay. Won't take much more. And it can have some white showing through. That's perfectly fine. But um, we're getting some good coverage. want to just when you get done with this take it out on the porch and let it finish drying because it can get a little overpowering to make it go a little further we can splash on some more just plain alcohol see how the edges are coming along I hope y'all are having fun with this. I love it. Okay, that's pretty good coverage, I think, for that third of their canvas. Now, I want three colors on the canvas, but I'm going to leave one of them white because I don't know if there's any such thing as white alcohol ink. So we have a white canvas. That'll work just fine. I'm going to put orange for my next because I'm going to use gold with it and it can run in with the red it can run in with the white because it's going to run where it wants to you just have to kind of tell it a little bit
problems. You lose a little of your orange in this process, but it, if, if you look at it from far away, you can see the changes. Okay. Blow a little more slowly as you get toward the white because you want to keep the white white. Okay. Just a little more orange on mine. Can't wait to see what colors you guys come up with. And like I said, with this alcohol ink, it's going to blend into 10 or 15 different shades. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Y'all keep on till that's pretty much what you got. The middle is covered now. And as usual, I'm wearing as much as the canvas. Y'all don't even want to see me paint a room. I love to paint rooms, but it's you just got to stay out of my way. Mm. All right. Okay, we got pretty good coverage. We may not even need the glue if you go ahead and put some of the glitter on now. I think it's going to stick just to the moisture. So let's see what we got here. I'm using pink. This is very fine. They make glitter all the way from very chunky to kind of like your normal glitter. They make it all the way down to like baby powder consistency. And that's fun to work with. But like any glitter, it is a little messy. So what I'm going to do, since this is my pink part, I'm just going to pour the pink glitter in this section, just one big stripe. So OK. If you want to save your glitter for another project, what I do just take any ordinary piece of paper. Bump it off. And now you can just use this to pour back in the bottle. But that's not a lot that we're saving, but sometimes when you get carried away, it's worth saving. Okay. I'm going to put my caps back on. We're really using up some paint, guys. But that's what we're here for. Are y'all having a good summer? You've been home all year, so I guess it's nothing new. And I think it's so great of your parents to support you in, in coming out and doing extra activities, because this is one of the best. They have ongoing programs for adults and students. Uh, so just keep checking that out and visit the Springs house and the shop inside. It's just really great. Okay, now for my white, I'm going to need to spoon on, <laughs> spoon on, brush on a little bit of glue, okay? You can get the sides. Just put a good even coat. You don't need a bunch of gloppy glue. Do y'all know what gloppy glue is? Okay. Just get a nice even coating because glitter will adhere to it pretty well. Okay. There's your glue. I didn't water it down, but you can. All right. I am going to sprinkle on white. But it's got some pink in it too, so that makes it interesting. If uh, I have put a little glue on the sides, 
So if you want to go back and just kind of work with it on there, that'll make it even prettier, even prettier. You know, sometimes people think it's a flaw when all this happens, but I think flaws make it interesting. It makes people interesting. Okay? All right, now we're going to put some more glue down the middle. And again, now the glue will make the ink run like this, and that's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll make it beautiful. I'm going to put gold ink, or excuse me, gold glitter on that. Ooh, I like it. I love it. And to save a little glitter, I'm going to just kind of bump it on down. Okay. There you go. And you, you can brush it together, you know, make it a little more interesting if you want to kind of do something like that to fill in some of the holes. You can do that. All right. You'll be surprised how much that shines once you get up on the wall, and I hope you'll smile every time you see it. This is from uh, day one, our segment one, where we made these beautiful uh, pieces of canvas here on watercolor paper. What we're going to do today, you'll need this. You'll need your stencil. Now, yours is going to be a really big, beautiful mandala. And a mandala is a, a really gorgeous thing. And they kind of started over in Tibet. And basically, they're like a clock. You start in the middle. There's a one at 12 o'clock. You put a, a, a decoration at 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Then you can start putting in stones, like if you're working with gemstones or something glittery. We've done this at camp, at, uh, and you may have been in my class earlier, a few years ago. Some people did it with ants and grasshoppers, but they were all symmetrically spaced. And you can go in here now and fill in this. And that's how a mandala is formed. That's not real symmetrical. It's just sketched on there to give you an idea. Uh, they even make color books with these in it. And they're really beautiful because they come out looking like stained glass, which is just the prettiest thing in the world to me. So you're going to need your stencil. You're going to need your white paint. You're going to need something to pour your white paint in. And you're going to need your dabbers. These are dabbers. You can even use this kind. Uh, the big one's good for this project because you have a big project. So let me get something real quick to pour mine in. Okay, here we go. Shake it up real good. I always shake your art. The only thing you don't shake is Mod Podge. And you may get into a class with that one day because that is so much fun. This is just regular white acrylic paint in the craft section. And what you're going to do is you're going to dab it. You're not going to just soak it down, okay? You're going to get white paint on it. Now, if you want to scotch tape your stencil, if you run go get some scotch tape, I'm going to make this Lily of the Valley, okay? Because I don't have the Mandela stencil. So here again, you could use any stencil you want. You could put a dinosaur on here. You could put a Superman emblem. You can put an apple for your teacher. Because I love stencils. I just love them. Okay? Now, with your dabber, kind of get off some of that paint. You want good coverage, but you cannot have blobs because it... 
you're just trying to put enough paint to put cover up these little red areas. Just dab it all over lightly. You don't have to make it cover everything. We will go back and, until they are covered in very light coats because this is something that can't get all gunky. That's a technical term, y'all. I'm so glad your mom signed y'all up for camp. This is just wonderful getting to work with you this way. Like I said, the uh, staffs work really, really hard to make this happen. Okay, it's gonna, mine's gonna be a little pink because it's still pulling up some of the alcohol ink colors, but that's fine because it's really gonna show up. Very, you might want to just kind of blow and fan it to let it set because if you take the stencil off and you do it kind of floppy, it's going to make the paint smear all over the place. And that's another reason you want just a light coat. So take off your scotch tape, leaving your stencil intact so there won't be any jerky movements with the scotch tape holding it down. You can use painter's tape or one of the lesser sticky tapes. Okay, just very gently lift it. Voila! And there's your finished painting. Isn't that beautiful? And I, I can't wait to see how yours turned out. I really can't. And yours is going to take a little longer to dab the paint on. So uh, mine was a pretty simple stencil. So yours is going to be even prettier than mine. So I can't wait to see them. So thanks a lot. See you next segment.